Hi, Yellow Group. Here's your workbook for Wednesday, April 22nd. The first page, here we go. You're gonna trace your name. And here's my name, J-E-N for Jen. Good job. In this page, look for the arrow. And here we have shirts. And we are going to connect all of the shirts with your crayon. And we're gonna go all the way down, connect, connect all those shirts until we get all the way down to the star. And you made a path with the t-shirts. Good job. On this page, I'm gonna use my green crayon. We have a tree, a leaf, a pepper and a frog and you're going to color 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 all of the pictures stay inside those lines good job and the last page we have we're gonna circle the picture in each row that belongs to this first picture here we have a pencil and what goes with the pencil a hat a shirt or a notebook. That's right, a pencil belongs with the notebook. And here's a ruler. We have a pen, a bear, and a cup. That's right, the ruler belongs with the cup. And here we have scissors, and a cake, paper, and a pig. That's right, you use scissors to Cut the paper. And the last one, we have a crayon. And we have a bat and another crayon and a chick. What does a crayon go with? That's right, another crayon, two crayons. Good job. And here is your book for Wednesday. No more biting for Billy Goat. It was Billy Goat's first day at school. He really did not want to stay. But Ducky came over to help him. She always greeted anyone new. Let's find your play group, she said. Billy Goat sat down all by himself. Bunny, Piggy, and Lampkin were playing a game with a big ball. Billy Goat wanted to play too, but he didn't know how to join them. Ducky was watching. You have to ask them if you can play, whispered Ducky. She gave Billy Goat a little nudge. Billy Goat tugged on Bunny's sleeve. Can I play? He said in a tiny whisper. Bunny couldn't hear Billy Goat. Billy Goat tried again. He whispered a little louder. Bunny didn't hear him, so Billy Goat nipped his tail. Bunny was startled. Ouch, said Bunny. Don't bite. Billy Goat tapped Lampkin's arm. Can I play, he whispered. Lampkin looked at him. Billy Goat was getting frustrated, so he bit Lampkin on her chubby little arm really hard. Ow! She cried. Five. Ducky ran over. Oh, Billy Goat, she said, you mustn't bite. You have to say in a nice, strong voice, please, can I play with you? So Billy Goat spoke up. Please, can I play with you? He said to Piggy in a loud voice. Okay, said Piggy, but don't bite. Billy Goat joined the game, but every time Piggy had the ball, Billy Goat grabbed it away. No, 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 said Piggy. That is not the right way to play. Billy Goat bared his little teeth. Then he bit Piggy's ear, and he did not let go. Piggy squealed. He's biting again. Piggy tried to run but Billy Goat would not let go. 
Bunny and Lamb can begin to cry. And Ducky ran over. Billy Goat let go of Pilly, Piggy's ear. He started to cry too. He didn't like to hurt his new friends, but he didn't know how to play the game. Don't cry, Billy Goat, said Ducky. I will help you. Ducky taught him how to play the new game. She helped him talk to his new friends. Soon it was snack time. Now Billy Goat was using his teeth to bite his apples, not his friends. No more biting for Billy Goat, he said. Ducky put her arm around him. Right, said Ducky. Teeth are for biting food, not for biting friends. The end.